And we're back. In the last part, we didn't look super strong, even for it being easy mode. Um, good luck to us. We're in Sector 3. Did get a clone bay, which was a nice pickup. Oh, they say we're repugnant, and they don't have missiles, so let's arm the weapons. Uh, I don't have very much energy. I think I don't fully power up the teleporter. We run our teleporter with one energy. Alright, rocks have extra health. We deal extra damage. Oh, they have a med bay. This could be trouble. We definitely can't fight in their med bay. We'd lose that 100% of the time. See, I believe we went into that last fight without full health. I'm not even gonna try sending that one over that doesn't have full health. We'll just send over two full health mantis, one of which still has a level of combat. Rock do move slowly, and that one did move to the bottom left, so it may not actually run out of the room early enough, and we might actually kill it that way. Oh. I wonder, maybe two mantis, if we beat them to the med bay. Okay, we did eliminate one of them. Can we outdamage their healing? Yes, we can. Now that their ship has been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. Nice. Kinda wish it wasn't just a human, but, uh... Free crew. I don't know, maybe we just really want someone stationed to keep the med bay repaired. Also, my engines are off. Not gonna go very far like that. Okay, there is not an ion storm here. Could purchase an unknown weapon for 45 scrap from the black market trader, or could attack him. He's got ion and missiles, I don't really want to attack him. Let's roll the dice. Fire bombs! I like it. I don't have enough weapon system to use it right now. But I like it. Because it's a bomb that kind of aids in our strategy of harming the enemy crew. I should have looked along here for whether they had a med bay before I made the decision to attack. However, their weapons don't look like they can actually get through to us. So let's just, uh, board them. I guess I could, like, power up the small bomb just in case I have a reason to fire it. Alright, there is other crew on their ship. Alright, ready for round two? change the enemy's target. Maybe that doesn't work how I thought it did. No more life signs on the enemy ship. Also notice, if the enemies are dead, the teleporter doesn't actually go on cooldown when you retrieve your crew. So if you have sent over four people in like a combination of two teleports, you don't have to wait around to retrieve them. Kind of convenient. Alright, nothing interesting on that jump. Oh, maybe I should have gotten the firebomb ready. Oh, intruders on board. This shouldn't be hard. We've been fighting all game. Hmm. No 
that's kind of low health among the fighting crew. Let's uh, get some fresh ones. <laughs> this is your captain speaking. Please go suffocate to death. <laughs> the captain of FTL is a good person who only wants the best for his crew. And the Federation as a whole. Anyway, now we can have firebombs going if we want. Maybe I shouldn't have spent all my money before fighting the store of the sector. Oh, I guess we're preparing to fight. It's an automated ship. Our shields are completely off. There's our two. Combat drone, laser... Um, I think we can kill them with our basic laser. Yeah, shields please come up. Oh, that's a laser drone, not a... I guess it doesn't actually matter for the strategy. Alright, so easy fight. Wait. Oh! That's awkward. Now that I've harmed their... Weapon system, they had enough power, even with the ion, to raise their shields. So I think I've got to teleport over. Your suicide mission is to destroy their shields. So let's not actually fire at them until the shields are down. Oh, uh... Crew are dying. <laughs> Maybe important to keep the clone bay turned on. Don't have very much power here for some reason, though. Let's see, uh... bubble of shields going so that we stay protected. Now that we've actually destroyed their shield system, which I guess I should have fired at first. Huh? O2 is low. I didn't realize that had been turned off. We don't need the clone bay on anymore, fortunately. So yeah, we won the fight. It was... A little more awkward than it should have been, because I should have just shot their shields first. Although I guess they had a buffer point in shields, didn't they? Because their shields turned orange, or yellow, or whatever color it is, um, without them losing a shield bubble. So actually, no, wait, the first shot in shields would have still worked, though. Because they had no reason still to transfer power to shields. It was shooting the weapons that made them raise the shields. I guess I could have waited for the AI to repair the weapons instead of sending my people over. The engines are off. Still haven't found a store this sector. Oh. Heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon before you have time to make contact with them. They fade in the nebula. You can use the teleporter to lock onto their life signs. Beam the Federation crew aboard, one gladly joins your crew, the rest wait to be dropped off to the next station. Mark Hand. He does have some repair skill. Maybe I won't send him to be our fourth combat person. Although he does have extra health. He's the only one with a racial bo bonus to combat, besides the Mantis. Like, maybe I just put a buffer point in the clone bay, finally. <laughs> Plus, if I put more energy into it, it can clone people faster now. And, even without energy in it, it heals for more every jump. Across the whole crew. I guess now the real question is, do I put the rock in on the first wave? I don't think I do. 
Oh, there's the store. Well, we have plenty of jumps. Let's try to get more scrap before heading into the store. See, I can skip from here if the rebel fleet looks like it's starting to catch up. Attack the pirate. Move in to engage. I, don't, I think they might be able to get through with our shields if everything hits and we haven't lowered their weapons at all. Slug and a rock. Oh, they didn't synchronize their weapon at all. Oh, but also, uh... They have a... Three-round burst. With the crew dead, you search the ship, you find the military-grade weaponry, and take what looks most useful. Alright, let's get that repaired up there. I wonder if the passive healing per jump actually depends on having this repaired. Not knowledge that I have about the clone bay. Time to jump. Oh, attack another pirate. This pirate also does not have any form of med bay. It does have missiles. Mantis, but also a slug. I right, hit an empty room on our ship. They got to fire another missile. Found a hull beam. Maybe this is the point in the run where we start like seriously upgrading our weapon system. Use burst laser one to knock down their shields, as well as the basic laser, and then use the hull beam. So this is a three shot volley plus hull beam. Except we need like so many weapon system upgrades. Oh yeah, the first upgrade cost 40, and then it went back down. Hmm. I mean, the boarding thing has been fairly effective. But uh, I don't know, I feel like we'd really benefit from being able to kill enemies with weapons. <laughs> Actually, how much power does that combo take? Five, if I want to power up everything. Although I don't really need the basic laser on right now. Enemies aren't having three shields. This enemy actually only had one shield. So even if it was just basic laser plus hull beam, that would do something. Yeah, two points here. Can I? I can't undo that anymore. For some reason, I thought you could undo it until you jumped. But yeah, now if I turn my teleporter off, though, I can have this going. Yeah, I should have visited the store first, though, before I did that. Oh, let's, let's chase them. Oh, but we can't maintain a lock for long, the rebels slip away. Alright, well, I think we're pretty much set on weapons, unless there's, like, another burst laser. Yeah, a, a second burst laser one, or maybe even a burst laser two would have been cool. Fix up a bit. Need some fuel. Next sector. Yeah, I don't have time to jump here and back, probably. Long range beacon is within the sector, is something about. Well, yeah, we, we can do this. Oh, it's an iron storm. Let's manually search the wreckage. Okay, most of the debris is hardly even use usable as scrap, however you eventually find an intact weapon that can be mounted on a ship. I could have sold weaponry at the store. Whatever, there will be more stores in the run. I think on easy it ought not to be a run-losing mistake. Let's 
see, something about the slug home world. I didn't actually read the text. So many bombs. Stun bomb, fire bomb, small bomb. So we've gone to so many nebula tiles this run. Slug ship rogue you suspect approaches, but when he sees your federation, he thinks better of a sneak attack and fires everything he has. Also, enemy this enemy has two um, shields. All right, we just have more power because uh, we're not in an ion storm anymore. Hmm. I kind of wish I still had the small bomb mounted on the ship. I think I just go hit their weapons. I mean, this is this is the ship where if you hit their oxygen, they die, but we'd like them to die a little faster than that with this big missile launcher here. Oh, we won. <laughs> Shuffled the order so that... Maybe they have a chance to get their health back before they need to board again. Okay, a slug captain hails and invites himself aboard your ship to present a flask of something slimy. Now, most gracious captain, you must join me, please, in a drink to our alliance. Um, if you just drink, there's kind of a 50-50 of a good result or a bad result, where I think you actually get some scrap stolen from you and then you fight. The rock crew changes the bad result to just a fight. Okay, even if there was something malicious in the drink, you doubt it would affect the rock digestive system. The slug casually celebrates your newfound trust by repairing part of your ship and offering to sell you his wares. So yeah, that was the good result. Could buy sensors! We'd be able to see! Salt and shield bypass could be nice, considering we teleport a lot. Like, that might actually just be a snap pick. Alright, let's sell our stuff. We don't need combat drones. We probably don't need stun bombs. I kinda like the idea of fire bombs for the Rebel flagship. Maybe we sell the basic laser? Yeah, maybe we just sell all our weapons. Right, are sensors even gonna help us, though? What would we be trying to sense? fires on our own ship. <laughs> I don't know. We've been doing okay with that. What could we upgrade? Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have gotten these weapons upgrades. Might be time for shields. With three layers of shields. I don't think we need to upgrade doors. I guess it helps fires not spread as much. But also, like, we fight just by fighting. We don't try to starve the invaders of oxygen. Faster crew teleporter would actually be really nice. Because we do have four people we like boarding with. Yeah, the bad result has something about the drink knocking out your captain, and then they, they raid your storage. Nebula looks like it's recently seen two ships exchange fire with mutually assured destructive results. Wreckage drifts by your screens. Yeah, let's investigate. Five damage to the hull. We're unable to find anything of interest. Also, this is a dead end! What? You can't go forward from either of these nodes? I'm gonna have to dive so much! This is terrible! I didn't look sufficiently ahead on the map. Wait, my doors are on fire. So, uh... This situation in general is awful. Um, right, I can't even... Wait, no, we need a pilot. We don't need our weapons on. It's a flak and some sort of laser, I think. Dodges. There's no ASB. Ow. 
Uh, doesn't mean our situation is any good at all. But there's no ASB. Or anti-ship battery. So we don't have, like, the, uh, missiles coming from nowhere during this encounter. Maybe I should have tried to firebomb him or something. So yeah, this is a triple dive, just because I didn't realize where the routes were on the map. Okay, he's got too much shields to even think about doing anything. I don't know, maybe I, like, teleport to his ship and try to disable weapons? Well, I want to make sure to pick up our guys before we teleport away. Oh, did they teleport in here, too? Uh, please do not wreck my clone bay. Actually, wait, we have people still on the ship that can fight them. Let's close the doors again. I mean, this is basically like teleporting extra people over there. Okay, there is an ASB here. Their weapon systems are starting to go down, but of course, we've got high-powered missiles coming at us. Yeah, like that. Okay, the clone bay is still on, at least. Um... Yeah, we were not in any way ready for a triple dive. Our engines are down, we're just dead. I guess we can bring our crew back and try to repair, but I think the ASB has got us. Oh boy, it's on fire. What a way for a run to end. <laughs> oh yeah, rocks are immune to fire and put out fires extra fast. can't even dodge with the engine stone. Alright, that was another, what, three hull damage? And a breach? And our door system is dead? Alright, well, we got away. There's another ASB. And if it hits us once, we're dead. Never boarded. I don't think I'm gonna try to board them. I don't think it would do any good. Don't have enough power. Oh, and they've got missiles actually on their ship. Perfect. Yeah, the run is dead, officially. <laughs> Alright. Note to self. Look ahead more on the map. Usually you don't have to, though. It's not Slay the Spire. <laughs> anyway, I guess next time I'll try out the Lanius ship, and then maybe go back to the Mantis ship. Oh yeah, what did we do? Kill five enemy crew in a fight without taking whole damage or losing a crew member. Yeah. Hmm, but I didn't even, like, reach Sector 6. I feel like I was probably on pace for this, if I hadn't, you know... <laughs> anyway, that's it for this part. Next part, Lanius A. Let's see, we also haven't tried the... Zoltan C. But yeah, I'm looking forward to Lanius A, actually. I think having Lanius will be fun. Starts with a clone blade, starts with hacking. What more do you even need? Well, weapons that are good, probably. <laughs> anyway, see ya!